large wooden um, words. I've seen them online. Just gonna hold it up so you can get a gauge on how big these are. Very well made. Dollar Tree also has these new wooden wooden boxes that you can DIY. They have an LED, LED light in them. This one says, this is my happy place. This one says, count your blessings. This one says, thankful, grateful, and blessed. And this one says, home sweet home. Really nice. A lot of hot cocoa bars online. And these jars, I have never seen anybody haul. Um, I like them. I like that the lid is clear and you definitely can embellish these, um, you know, to make them Christmassy. But I really, really like this. Perfect for marshmallows, chocolate chips, or whatever other treats you want to keep fresh and covered. Um, they also have this size jar and this was a wish list. The only concern with this is it's just might be a pain digging in the jar to get a uh, whatever you want to get out because it's a narrow jar but they also have these haven't seen these in a while and you definitely can embellish the lid and make them Christmassy I like these I like these the most you can also use these in the bathroom for your cotton balls or your q-tips really good really nice I'm seeing the holiday stencils this one says Santa please stop here and on the back, you have these different things. This one says season's greetings. And also on the back, you have different holiday things. What? Then they have this one that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And on the back, again, different holiday items that you can stencil. These treat bags are really, really nice. They have all different kinds. Um, these are perfect for like those mason jar candles if you're given a candle or you know as a co-worker gets to somebody you get 15 bags and these are new for this year really really like them also very happy to finally find these foil balloons this was something that was on my wish list um, they have Merry and Christmas of course we put it together you have the option of getting the uh, Mary in red or green and Christmas is the same you have the option you can mix and match do Mary in red Christmas in green or vice versa or do the same color this location has the DIY reefs in white and they also have green I'm in West Islip share with you some of these really nice um, gift tags this is a count of 25 they also have these larger ones that's a 16 count gift tag and they also have the sticker book that's full of 104 they have this these new air fresheners called driven it's a blade spinner I guess the scent is blackout. I'm not seeing any other scents. It is a scratch and sniff where you could smell here. Also, I'm seeing this from Refresh. This is called Pink Petals. The packaging is really, really cute. This would be a great stocking stuffer or gift idea. You could put together some of Dollar Tree's auto accessories and give them to someone doesn't have to be just for Christmas it could be a family member who just got a new car they still have the California scents they usually always have refresh so you should be able to find it this is something from California scents that I haven't seen before this is new this location has the men's athletic socks I just hold the women's athletic socks you get three pair of socks they also have the full cushion socks you get three pair um, great Christmas gift ideas. Always socks. This 
still seeing a couple of the peanut socks left. These mailboxes are massive. These are massive. Look how big that is. As opposed to these. And these are cardboard. But they are pretty. They are pretty. For my Long Island Cyber family members, West Islip has the um, owl phone holders and piggy banks. So they have plenty. And they do have some of these marquee lights. It's located down the aisle with the fun finds. We're now in West Avalon. I've seen these cactuses online. I'm just seeing them in the store. They still have these decorating balls and they brought back the apples. They have these new shadow boxes. The sayings are cute. I just don't like the pom-poms, but I'm sure you could uh, peel those off. This says you, you belong among the wildflowers. This, this, come on, get up. Cute little llama. They have an elephant. And they have this, this is antisocial. This dry erase magnetic clip. So you can write whatever you want on it. I don't really show you guys this aisle because I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually go down this aisle unless there's something that I need. And in this particular location, the Craft a Square section is across, so I wanted to see if I seen anything new. And so far, I don't. So that's why we're down this aisle. I haven't seen this lime green paint color. That looks new. Um, also, oh, that's black. There is a burgundy color that's out there. Maddie's Masterpiece. These are mosaic stickers and you do the craft. There's a mermaid one out there that's really, really cute. I don't see that one here. This looks like a sloth that's an astronaut. Um, it's 360 mosaic stickers. That's enough to keep the kids busy for a while. Some new mugs here. This one says life is too short for bad coffee. And then they have these. This has roosters all over it. And this one has sheeps. These are massive. I never heard of this brand. Meritage. But they are really, really cute. Name brand from Big Low. Um, the I've never tried mint tea. You get 20 individually bagged um, tea bags, and that's something that I like. Some of these tea bags, I don't think they come individually bagged, and that just for whatever reason skeeps me out. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a new find for me. You making baskets? These look delicious. Chocolate fusion, gourmet dark chocolate covered biscuits. Have these reusable tote bags. These are new. And they also have these like burlap bags, feeling spacey. Life is my favorite adventure. Farmer's market. And you are magic. We are in Lindenhurst and this was the color paint I was telling you about. It's like a cranberry color. These are the new face masks that I was waiting for. They have several different colors and patterns. And I'm in Lindenhurst now and I also seen them in West Islip. Or was it West Babylon? No, West Islip. These are new from Shore Sense. They have these fragrance beads. This is spruce. They have glistening cranberry and apple cinnamon. I personally have never seen these before. And this location also has the charcoal odor neutralizing beads. 
I showed you guys this previously. Hi guys, we are back in the Love Den for a Dollar Tree haul. This is a three store collective haul. West Islip, West Babylon, and Lindenhurst. Um, I have been wanting to get to West Islip. Um, I posted a TikTok of my Dollar Tree experience from yesterday. I went all the way to Hicksville and um, it was sad. I, I, I don't remember ever feeling that angry. You know, I go in Dollar Tree all the time. Trust me, I don't always find what I want. And sometimes it's not documented. I don't share. I walk out empty handed. And uh, yesterday, I don't know, for whatever reason, I went to two locations in Hicksville, the one on 106 and the one on Jerusalem Avenue. And yeah, I just was angry. I was just like angry and I don't really know why. But anyway, let's get into this haul. I think this is a pretty decent haul and I'm happy to share um, with you guys my finds. Let me just get the most boring thing out of the way. Um, now, I've been picking up toys for chunks since the summer, so now it's time to start wrapping and putting things together, and I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I, they have this, it's not a full-size laundry basket, it's a little bit smaller and it has a handle, and I was thinking of getting that to put his gifts in, but it just... You know, it would serve a purpose for storage and also he could drag it and carry it around. But it's not the cutest. I'm going to be honest with you. I just can't get over, you know, I just can't get past that part. But what I did to put some of the stuff that I have already, because what I might do is make a couple of different baskets. And I wasn't thinking, I didn't think of that till now because I would have gotten another one. So I got one of these and I could have got another one. This is something that can go under the bed. He could pull it out. Um, they had one in green and I'm sure they have blue somewhere. Um, I wish I would have gotten it, but I just thought of this idea. So like I could put all of his hot wheel cars in one action figures or play things, squishy things in another. So, um, yeah, I have to go back to Dollar Tree now. So that's what I got this for. And I was looking all over the place for the Christmas ba basket covers. And normally they have them on end caps. You know, I didn't see any in any of the locations, but I did see this. This is a basket bag. You get two for a dollar. So I did get that um, because it's time to start putting stuff together. Um, didn't find anything in the toy section. Um, I don't know. Was I supposed to show you guys in the last video and didn't show you? I don't know. But at the end of this video, I'm going to put my wish list items um, that I have been looking for desperately. But I think it's going to be a situation like it was with the full decor. These items are going to come to New York. I don't know why we're last, but we're last. Um, in the car section, they had this California Sense air freshener. And I think it's really cool. You could sit this under the sink. This is Carando Cherry. Lasts for 45 days. I, I have the other California scent air fresheners and I think they have that same slogan that it lasts a long time. I will double check. In my opinion, they don't last past a week or two. And just in my opinion. So um, this will be interesting. But from what I can smell, it does smell good. Automotive gift idea. Okay, you could put together a little bag with some air fresheners. Um, these are the cutest. This is from Refresh, name brand. This is called Pink Petals really really cute and look at the packaging it has like this crystal and it looks like you hang it if you see the picture from your mirror um air freshener hangs anywhere yeah i got three of them not necessarily for a gift or for me i just love love the packaging and i love the look so girly and if you can freshen the car at the same time why not another air freshener that they have out another gift idea um, and not just Christmas. This could be somebody got a new car. This could be somebody who's into cars or into their car, likes to wash their car. You know, you have car fanatics, okay? Um, this is from Driven by Refresh. And smell here. This does smell. And this would be great for the man or men in your life. If young kids, you know, sons drive, uncles, whatever. This is a very masculine smell. And I like it. Blackout. 
Yeah, spins in your vent. So it's a spinner. So I got two of those. And again, gift ideas. They have the ice scrapers out now in Dollar Tree. I actually bought two of them. I forgot to show you guys and I needed it because my window was frosted once. Um, it's not the best ice scraper, but it does the job. Um, you know, they have Armor All products, so you can easily put together a gift bag with five items and name brand items in the automotive section in Dollar Tree, so that's pretty cool. From Crafter Square, they have these new wooden, I don't know, would you call these shadow boxes? It just says unfinished wood light. There were four different kinds. I only got three. I really wish now I would have got the other one. I Dollar Tree regrets are rough, so if, if, if you like it, get it, because you might not see it again. This one says Home Sweet Home. This one says Thankful, Grateful, and Blessed. And this one says This is My Happy Place. Um, <laughs> I have never painted any of the wood crafts that I got from Crafter Square. Um, I'm just going to keep it real. I have not, but I have picked up a few. I do have some other lighted wood boxes. I think I got the pineapple. It's in the craft cart. When I want to do it, I'll do it. Um, you know, I just think these are really, really nice and too nice to not get for a dollar. And here it is with the light on and it already has the LED in there. Um, it doesn't say how long it lasts because sometimes they'll say 240 hours, but yeah, really, really nice. So I did get those. I finally found the face mask that I was looking for. For a while, Dollar Tree has had these reusable, washable fabric masks. And I will say, I'll be the first one to tell you if no one else told you. And I think I've shared with you already. These wash very well. Um, I wash mine in the wash machine, hang dry them. This one is a light leopard print. Okay, these are adult size. I didn't see too many masculine colors. The only masculine one I seen was the Army Fatigue one. And they did have a solid color, I think black and gray. Look how pretty this is. I mean, not that we want to be, you know, I mean, listen, we have to wear them. We might as well look good wearing them, right? That's another one. I really love this tie-dye one. I really, really love this tie-dye one. It's just so nice and feminine and girly. Okay. And this leopard one, I meant to get another one and I didn't. And West Islip and Lindenhurst had these, okay? West Islip, they were at the end cap by the register. Some stores do things differently. And in Lindenhurst, these were on the end cap, but not at the register. They were on the end cap display. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. And I have tons of the other ones. I get them. You know, because I don't see an end in sight, so we're going to need them. Um, I always get this every year. And when I had a staff before I resigned from my management position, every year I would buy my staff gifts. And attached to every one of their gifts, I would put one of these lollipops. These are the cutest. You get six lollipops. Okay. And I'm going to um, just put these out. This is for here. Um, got one another one of these power cords. I was happy and I have been on the hunt for these balloons. And I found these. And you go to so many Dollar Trees in the same day. West Islip. West Islip. And you have a choice. You can do the Merry in red or green. And you can do the Christmas in red or green. So this is something that was definitely on my wish list. I love these straw balloons. I've never had a problem with these except for once. Mr. Fuller's birthday, one of his was defective where the air wouldn't stay in. It was really, really annoying, but I made it work. But I could tell it wasn't right. I had to twist it to try to trap the air in. But yeah, this was a wish list find for me. I got socks. These are for me. You get three pair. This is low cut women's cushion socks. Okay, Mr. Fuller might wear them because honestly, when I wash the socks, unless I know they're mine, um, you know, because it's a girly print or something like that. Um, I mean, he wore chunk socks, so why not? Why wouldn't he wear these? But I got one pack of those. And for my man boys, um, like I told you, they get necessities. They don't get, 
you know, I'm, I'm, we're done with the video games and stuff like that. These are grown men that I have. So I each got them two packs of these. So that's, will be six pair of socks. Um, they don't do laundry anyway. So do I have to say they wash well? I mean, does that matter to them? But they're going to get hand mask, face mask. They're going to get, um, hand sanitizer. They're going to get socks. I'm waiting for a good underwear sale. Walmart's Black Friday underwear sale was not what it used. It was like you get three pair. No, I want, I usually get like the bonus pack of eight or seven that goes on sale eventually. So they're going to get underwear and stuff like that. That's what they get. My oldest, I might do a little extra for because he is uh, good to me, but Chunk's father. All right, so let's move on. My next DIY, I'm going to be making one of those wreaths that I showed you that I hauled from Dollar Tree. And on the end store, you've seen that West Islip had the wreaths in the green and the white. But I'm going to be making a table arrangement for my dining room table using Dollar Tree Christmas trees. Two Christmas trees. So if you want to make that arrangement along with me, get your trees. They still have them out there. Um... And I'm going to probably spray paint these because I want these gold. So I got three of these candle holders. Now, you won't see the base of them. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I got two of these. Okay. You won't see the base. So it doesn't matter that the bases are different. And one of these, and I had no other choice because that's just what they had left. So I got three of these all together. Two with this design. One with this design, and I want to spray paint these gold. Um, these are going to be inside the centerpiece, so you, like I said, you won't see the base. And I did find um, two more of those glass candle holders, so I have three now. And um, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful table arrangement. I kind of wish I would have did that for the craft and sip, but I am a member of Olivia's romantic home facebook group and someone made uh she got the dollar tree wooden gingerbread houses and boy did she do her thing and now that kind of gave me confirmation that this is a nice craft and now i'm more excited to do them next year um i'm hoping to catch the dollar tree 50 percent off sale um if they have christmas decor and stuff the trees are 50 cents then i'll buy because i would need 12 trees if I have six ladies. So, um, yeah, that is a nice, this is going to be a nice centerpiece. I, I, I can see it in my mind. Okay. So that is that I'm just going to clear off this table cause I'm out of space and show you the rest of the hall. I got another box of the Swiss Miss hot cocoa packets to add to the hot cocoa bar. And, um, this is not a great deal. You can go to Walmart and get a box with much more. I actually have a box from BJ's from last year that has 20 or 30 packets. I don't know. It's a big box, and I still should have quite a few, so I really don't don't ask me why I bought this. But I don't know. My mind, I said, well, I want to check the expiration date. I bought that a year ago. I want it to be fresh, and I'm sure it is still good. That's why. Um, so, yeah, I bought another box of that. Um this was something that was on my wish list. It's a glass jar that you could put goodies in. Um, you can put fill this with candy and embellish it. Um, you know, put Christmas embellishments on it. The only thing I don't like, um, I like that it seems airtight. That's important to me. I've been seeing a lot of hot cocoa bars on Olivia's page, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and I love them. Um, but with me... I like my things to be covered. I guess for video purposes, you know, some people leave the things open, but with everything going on, I want my stuff covered. And then those marshmallows, if you don't have them covered in an airtight thing, they're going to harden up. So you kind of have to. Now, if you're having a party and you want things open so the guests can just go grab, that's up to you. But again, you know, people cough, people sneeze, and there's things in there. I say keep them covered, but you know, that's up to you. And you could also put uh, some hand sanitizer, you know, on the table where you have your hot cocoa bar so people could, you know, clean their hands. I'm definitely going to have a hand sanitizers out and about uh, for the uh, craft and sip. I'm looking for some way to do it. Um, 
a creative way to do it. If I can find like a nice glass jar with a pump or, you know, I could fill it with sanitizer and embellish it with Christmas decor. I just don't want to put a bottle of a short hand sanitizer out. No, baby, you got to make it look good. So I only got one of these, okay? Why only one is it's an, a narrow opening. It's not a wide mouth bottle and it's going to be a pain sometimes to scoop things out. I really don't know why I got it, but y'all, because I don't like the uh, opening. But these, it's probably I should have got three of. Look at it. It looks like you don't have a lid on. Well, you do. I love the clear lid. I love the clear lid. I love it. And I haven't seen anybody hold this. I'm the first, baby. I'm the first. I'm the first, baby. Won't be the last, but I'm the first. So the lid is actually plastic, but I don't care about that. It's clear. And this is a nice wide, wide mouth bottle. Now, why wouldn't I have gotten three instead of this one. I guess I like the shape of it. And I like that you can display different size jars. You don't always have to have the same. That, that's another reason why. So I love it. The lids are plastic, but who freaking cares? And this is a nice size jar. Marshmallows, chocolate chips, hot cocoa powder, whatever you want to do. Cotton balls for your bathroom, Q-tips, whatever you want to do. You can't stack them and these will break if it falls because this part is glass. But so what? You put three side by side. You could make somebody a bathroom gift set. You could fill it with cotton balls. You could fill this with cotton swabs. You can get another one and put those round face pads and put it in, um, you know, a nice container and wrap it up. I mean, I don't know. Do what you want. But these are nice and I like them. Something else, maybe they had these last year, but I didn't see them. I bought them in gold. I have them in gold. Yes, I do have these in gold. Um, but I didn't see these and I think they might have them in silver. This is going to be great. These match my hot cocoa station. So I have those beautiful glass mugs that Dollar Tree came out with last year that I can put and put this next to the hot cocoa station and it matches. I even can put cookies on here. Um, last year for the craft and sip, I made cupcakes. I could put my desserts on here. So I got three of them. I got three of them. Love these. I never seen these in red. I never seen them in silver. Um, I have them in gold. I did buy three gold ones. And I'll show you how you can do it. You don't have to have to have the tear tray for your hot cocoa bar. You can do your own hot cocoa bar at home. You don't have to make a tear tray like I did. You could put marshmallows, chocolate chips, hot cocoa powder, you know, whatever you want to do. You can do it like that. Marshmallows, chocolate chips. Um, you could put the peppermint candies and crushed peppermint candies in here or even stand, take the lid off um, and put your hot coke, um, your um, candy canes and your spoons in there. And you have a little mini hot cocoa bar. You don't have to have no fancy tear tray. I love these trays, okay? Again, I have them in gold. If they have them in silver, I'm definitely going to buy three silver. But I haven't seen them in silver. Let me know in the comments if you have. And I'm not going to bore you with paper towels. Um, yeah. That is my Dollar Tree haul. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree wish list. And I'm going to show you a close-up of the um, hot cocoa bar. Because I just did a quick video. I ended up recording that video like 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. And I fell asleep editing it. Um, so I really just put the video up just to show you guys but I'm going to give you a closer sneak peek or not sneak peek but look okay thanks for watching and shout out to Jennifer she works at the West Babylon Dollar Tree I was coming out of there today and she beeped to horn I rolled down the window and she said oh I want to tell you not only do I work here but I'm a fan so she recognized me from YouTube so I am doing something that somebody notices who the hell I am I mean besides my family and my co-workers you know and my neighbors and stuff. But it's good that somebody knows I exist. But thanks for rocking with your girl. Follow me on IG. Um, if you want, you can follow me on TikTok. I don't know my TikTok name. So I should tell you. I can put it on the screen. I don't do a lot of TikToks and stuff like that. But sometimes I, I like TikTok for their music. So I can add, you know, some dope music to my videos or whatever. Um, but that is about it, guys. Um, yeah. And subscribe. If you're not an Erica Cyberman family... Erica Fuller Cyber Family Member, I would love to have you subscribe. Don't forget to press like because that puts my videos out there so other people can see them. I appreciate you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. 
Now I'm almost finished decorating in here, almost. Um, I started wrapping and putting things under the tree. Um, I added a diamond bling to the reindeer. Those reindeer are from Dollar Tree. I showed you guys that peace banner I got from um, Dollar General. And of course, you know the infamous gnome for the holiday sign from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to be putting a piece. I'm cutting a piece of um, poster board. And I'm wrapping it with that plaid wrapping paper to cover those speakers that are on the shelf. Um, these DIY houses are really, really nice. The candy shop changes colors. The church remains the same. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, cutting a piece of poster board so it will cover that background behind the belief sign. And I didn't turn on those light trees. But all I did to the TV stand was um, hang some garland that I had from last year and some ornaments that I had left over. And on the couch, I just added the noel placemat pillows that i made last year because i'm not going to be using them and i just put that christmas throw blanket that i hold from dollar general so i didn't show you guys and go through it with you but this is the hot cocoa bar using two of the dollar tree red chargers um i just used a small mason jar and I added the Christmas sticker, some bling, and hot glued and ornament to the top of it that holds the chocolate chips. I have those infamous Robitussin spoons and some tongs. Um, I did hang some street string lights, okay, around the Christmas tree and around the vase that is supporting the weight of the hot cocoa bar. Um, just place some random candy canes and in this plastic container that Dollar Tree sells in the party section I put the Christmas marshmallows this is one of uh, their small gift boxes I didn't use the lid I used to display the hot cocoa packets some red straws and this sand snowman um, was just on a stick and I just cut it down and hot glued it to the inside of the box. I got that from Dollar General for a dollar. And of course, I showed you guys what I made. This hot Fuller's Hot Cocoa Bar sign using a Dollar Tree 8x10 frame. The wooden letters I painted brown. And I hot glued the letters to the outside of the frame so I can change that paper on the background. So I don't have to just use this for the holidays. This is empty because I'm going to be putting the chocolate spoons in there, the stirring spoons. But I don't want to put them out. They're not individually wrapped. I did see someone else's hot cocoa bar and she wrapped them in plastic, which I can do. Um, I wish they would have been individually wrapped. So when I have company and when I want to, I'm going to put uh, some chocolate stirring spoons in there. And all I did was hot glue a, uh, a wreath. I found uh, these mini wreaths. They came three for a dollar and I got them from Dollar General and I love that it has the plaid bow so it matches and I just put some mugs here and let me show you the bedazzled napkin holder in the back this is a plastic napkin holder from Dollar Tree all I did was add bling all around both sides and I used these Dollar Tree stickers just to embellish it I was gonna put the hot cocoa packets in there and display them like that but I ended up finding the box and got that idea when I was in the store so this is a good napkin holder you could use this you know if you're having holiday dinner or something like that and um, I like that it's clear and it kind of matches uh, you know the clear containers so this is my hot cocoa bar again I could pop the Christmas tree off of it if I wanted to. It's just held on by a little hot glue. And I could use this at, you know, for another occasion, Valentine's Day. And I don't have to use this mason jar that I embellished and stuff like that. And I just put a little Christmas sticker on that one. So, yeah, that's it. It was pretty easy to do. And I'm pleased with how it turned out. Now, stay tuned for the wish list.